In this video, we're going to take a look at a couple popular types of Forrester reloading dies from the inside out. Gavin Gu here from UltimateReloader.com. What I've got here is what Forrester calls their demo die set. This is a specialty product for marketing purposes, and it really helps to communicate visually some of the unique design details that are built into Forrester dies. This demo die set is 30 out 6. We've got a bench rest seater here. We've got a full length sizer here. And over here, I have a couple of the dies that you've seen here recently on the channel. I've got a six dasher full length sizer with a custom honed neck area so that I can set that perfect neck tension for my brass and my bullets. And then I've got the ultra micrometer seater, which is like the bench rest seater, but it adds the micrometer capability, which I think is a great upgrade. So let's start with the sizing die. Note that these Forrester rings are specially designed to work with the Forrester coax. You can take a die and snap it in the press and snap it out. It slides right in and slides out and they're machined so that they are held properly in the press. These die lock rings will also work on other presses. One of the things that's really interesting about Forrester full length sizing dies is this elevated expander ball. And in fact, if I put this back in, and if we look real closely, you can actually see that the ball right here is very close to and almost into the neck sizing area. And what that does is the neck sizing area supports the case concentrically, perfectly concentrically, while the expander ball is punching it back out. And we can see here the difference between two different types of decapping rods. Forsters with the elevated expander ball. This happens to be a Hornady full length sizer expanding ball down here a little bit lower. And you can see this is gonna to be towards the bottom of the die and this is way up further inside the die. So that's one thing there. We've also can see the vent hole. This is able to prevent denting with case lube gives things a place to go, including the air in the die, and that can be uh, a really important thing. We've also got the, ex the replaceable decapping rod there, and I have an extra up here, which is pretty cool. And then on the bench rest seater, we can see here how there is a sliding collar. The collar slides up with the cartridge, and it also supports the actual seating stem right here. So everything is held in perfectly concentric alignment while that bullet is being seated. And in my experience, these kinds of dies work the best for those types of applications. And here again, we have the micrometer. The micrometer has a scale. So if you want to go two thousandths of an inch deeper on your bullet seat, you do that. If you want to go two thousandths shallower, shoving the bullet less far into the case, very easy to do. So one of the ways that you can set up your bullet seating die is to seat the bullet barely, take a cartridge overall length measurement with some digital calipers, or you could use a bullet comparator. Whichever way you want to establish bullet seating depth, figure out how much further you need to go, and then just keep cranking the die out using the scale to know exactly where you need to end up. So these dies, Quick overview, the demo die set, really cool way to see things. And if you want super high quality dies, you can't go wrong with Forrester. If you do need help with how to calculate what bushing you're gonna use, Forrester does have bushing sizing dies, or if you're gonna have your die custom honed in that neck area to a specific diameter, if you click on that first link in the video description, I'll include information about how you can establish those parameters and have Forrester send you a die just the way you want it. You can send your dies back in and have them honed. There's all sorts of options there. So do you use Forrester dies? I'd love to hear your feedback. How are they working for you? Which die sets do you like the best for the type of shooting that you do? Forrester products, great stuff. Coax, great press. Would love to hear how you're using these products and what you think of them as well. That concludes this video and that means it's time to wrap it up. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, make your voice heard. If you have something to say, 
please drop a comment. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications because you're not going to want to miss the awesome content that is coming up. And finally, flex your reloading pride. You could look great in one of these t-shirts. We've got multiple designs at the Ultimate Reloader store. I'll see you later because I'm off to go shooting.